now let's see about uh, a sleep method in java uh, first let's see what is the advantage of sleep method uh, this method will keeps a running thread in sleeping state up to a specified time in milliseconds uh, let's see the syntax of sleep method uh, sleep of 2000 uh, here 2000 is nothing but milliseconds we know that 1000 milliseconds is equal to 1 second so 2000 milliseconds is nothing but uh, 2 seconds so for 2 seconds the thread will be in suspended state so the thread execution will be resumed after those 2 seconds so whenever sleep method is executed then the corresponding thread will be in sleeping state or uh, blocked state for a specified time in milliseconds once that time is expired then the thread execution will be resumed will be restarted here uh, sleep method uh, throws an exception uh, why because that is the signature for uh, sleep method S uh, so if we want to use a sleep method in the program then we must handle the exception with the help of try catch or by throwing the exception from the method okay now let's see this program so class name of the class is my thread extends thread we know that uh, if we want to implement uh, a thread then we have to declare a class which extends thread class or by implementing runnable interface uh, here in order to create the thread class we are extending this thread class this thread class is available in lang package lang is the default package so without importing lang package we can use the thread class next in order to provide definition for the my thread uh, we have to define the run method so the prototype of the run method is public void run uh, so within the for loop for int i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to 5 i plus plus here uh, sleep uh, throws an exception so we have to handle the exception by placing the code within try and catch so sleep is nothing but a static method we can call the static method without creating an object so sleep of 2000 system dot out dot print and n within the double quotations i is equal to plus i so this is placed in try block so if there is any exception here then throw keyword uh, throws that exception to the corresponding uh, cache block so catch of exception e and here simply we have displayed that uh, exception object information next to close of closing of the for loop closing of the run method and closing of the class next this is nothing but our main class so name of the main class is demo sleep public static void means string aux we know that execution of the program will start from the main method and we have created an object for the thread class so my thread t is equal to new my thread next to t dot start so whenever start method is called then thread scheduler will check whether the CPU is free or not. If the CPU is free, then thread scheduler allocates CPU to the thread. So CPU starts executing the thread using the run method. Here there is no need to call the run method explicitly. Okay. If t dot start method is called, then automatically implicitly it calls run method of the corresponding thread. So now CPU starts executing the run method. So for int i is equal to 1. 1 less than or equal to 5 condition is true so this try block this body will be executed sleep of 2000 so that means now uh, so we know what is the advantage of sleep method so whenever sleep method is executed then here the time period is 2000 milliseconds so for 2 seconds the corresponding thread will be in sleeping state so but that thread will be in sleeping state for 2 seconds so for 2 seconds we don't get any output okay once those uh, two seconds time get expired then we will get the next line as the output system dot out dot printed in i is equal to what is the value one so i is equal to one will be printed here there is no exception so cache block won't execute next i plus plus i value become previously i value one now i becomes two so two is less than or equal to five condition is true so body of the for loop will be executed so try block will be executed sleep of 2000 so for 2 seconds uh, uh, the thread will goes into the sleeping state 
so we don't get any output for the two seconds so once those two seconds time gets expired then we will get i is equal to 2 next two seconds i yield time after those two seconds i is equal to 3 next two seconds i yield time after those two seconds we will get output as i is equal to 4 next after two seconds we will get output as 5 next i is equal to 6 6 is less than or equal to 5 false so control comes from the for loop and the run method and the class so this is about uh, sleep method in java uh, in the upcoming videos we will see about uh, join method uh, yield method and uh, stop method as well as wait and notify methods